Hello friends, welcome back to Sunday Whispers. Today's episode is entitled Whispers of Beatitudes, Poor in Spirit, written by Rod Lee. Today's Bible whisper is taken from Matthew chapter 5 verse 3 and it reads, Blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Is being poor in spirit something God wants us to be in order to be happy or blessed? Let us get this straight. The meaning of the word poor in Greek means one who has nothing and is completely empty. Was Jesus implying then that to be economically poor is blessed? No, not at all. In the Beatitudes, he is concerned with spiritual realities, not material possessions or social status. There is no spirituality in poverty, for the poor can be as arrogant and as ungodly as anyone else in a social scale or ladder. So, what does it mean to be poor in spirit? With this phrase, Jesus most likely was speaking of man's spiritual condition of poverty, the recognition of their need for God. The Bible emphatically says in Romans chapter 3 verse 23 that we are all sinners and are fallen short of attaining God's standard of holiness and perfection. No one is fit for God's kingdom. To be poor in spirit is to recognize our utter spiritual bankruptcy before God. We do not boast on our human attributes, such as our birth or family background, our nationality, our educational attainment, our outward looks, our skin color or race, or how much we have in our bank books. None of that really matters. Because of sin, all of humanity is spiritually destitute and lost. God does not even esteem our own righteousness to be anything but pollution. They are like filthy rags before a holy God. Isaiah chapter 64 verse 6 Who can deliver us from this dire situation? The good news is we can take that first step by by becoming poor in spirit and realize that we can never achieve salvation on our own efforts. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 to 9. But rather putting our complete faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. We must admit our spiritual poverty before we can receive the spiritual riches God offers. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 Those who wish to enter the kingdom of heaven need to first go through the lowest level. Salvation is dependent on it. But it is easier said than done. Why? Because pride stands in the way. We see the example of being poor in spirit illustrated in Luke chapter 18 verses 9 to 14 in the account of the Pharisee and the tax collector. This passage tells us the story of a man who was confident of his own righteousness and one who belittled other people. In the temple, this Pharisee boasted of his religious achievements, praying while the tax collector stood at a distance, admitting his sinfulness. He felt he wasn't even worthy to look up to heaven. Keeping his eyes on the floor and striking his chest in repentance, he said, God, please have mercy on me, for I am nothing but a lowly sinner. That is being poor in spirit. What was the result of the prayers of these two men? The Pharisee went home condemned, while the tax collector went home justified. Let us conclude today's Sunday Whispers with this quote by Robert Herrick that says, Humble we must be, if to heaven we go. 
High is the roof there, but the gate is low. Thank you for sharing your time with us. We hope you have found wisdom and inspiration from today's episode of Sunday Whispers. Until next Sunday.